What's up guys? I bet you're wondering where I've been. Probably only three of you are wondering or have been wondering. But I want to show you something new. So I got a new truck. It is the GMC Sierra 1500. But one important thing about it, it's the Denali version. Without further ado, let's see it. Here's the 2014 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali package. I like it. So I'm starting with the walk around. We'll start with these steps. Back here, they have the steps for your foot, which is lovely. I love that. I love that feature. It's got the suspension. So I can just let it go and it folds down very nicely. Um, it did come with Linex, so I didn't have to pay for that. That's a real good feature. You can see the texture. And again, that suspension makes it really easy to open and close it. I've got the backup camera. Um, yeah, here's a walk around. It's got the tinted windows so you can't even see through it. Just a real clean vehicle all around. It's got the LEDs, GMC front. It's got all four of the sensors and the and the distance radar. Comes standard in Denali's. All right, let's move into the interior now. Actually, before we move into the interior, let's do a startup. I'm going to use the remote start, so I'm going to show you guys from the outside what it sounds like. That was so limp. I need an exhaust system back. <laughs> I'd like a magna flow. That'd be really cool. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when you walk in and you put the key in. So all I have to do is unlock it. It doesn't turn off. I come in here. It appears to be off, but it's running. Even the RPM says zero. All you have to do is put the key in, twist it to the on position. I didn't twist any farther. And then it just kind of turns on. All right, so let's start out with some features. It has the custom Denali. That comes standard with all Denalis, obviously. On the seats, it says Denali on the headrest. I really, li I really like that feature because it's pretty luxurious. I like it. So here we have all of our cruise control. You can turn it on. There, that white emblem just popped up, and then I can turn it off. Um, I can set what distance I want in front of, you know, collision alert. I can set it to where it's real close, off, real far. I like it to be far, so it makes sure I, you know, don't collide. And then I can set the cruise control faster, slower. I mean, that comes pretty standard. This is the feature that here in Oklahoma I like. You turn that on and my entire steering wheel starts to heat up. That is just premium. Especially when it gets 20 degrees out here. Then I got auto buttons. I got all the auto windows. So if I just click this once, I can take my hand off and it goes. As well as up, I can click it and it just goes up. And that's actually a cool feature. So when I have kids, if I click that, it locks all, it child locks all the doors, so I don't have to do it from here. Um, window lock, that comes standard in a lot of vehicles. I can set my different seats for one, two, and then exit mode, which is pretty neat. I have auto lights, you click this button and it goes into fog light mode. Click it off and it's off. Now, this was a cool feature. In the old Denali's, you used to have only auto, like all wheel drive. Now you can switch between two wheel drive, auto, four high, and four low. So if I'm not quite feeling customizing whether I need high or low, I can just set it to auto and it will do the rest. I have defrosters right here, so that's pretty cool. I don't have to mess with my, my uh, air. Let's go to the gauge. So with this, I have 
normal speedometer, RPM gauge. I got my oil. I have my oil temperature, fuel, and battery. Now here's the cool part. I have the Bluetooth, I can do all that, but these are really cool. So if I go up or if I go down, I have trip A, trip B, I can go to fuel range. Oil life, I think that's a really cool feature because you don't have to just go off of what your old uh, oil change says. You can go on your actual truck. It'll tell you when you need it. I have tire pressure, the last 50 miles. I have speed limit, engine hours. Then if I click sideways, I can go from audio, phone, navigation, and settings, which is really cool. Then let's move on to the center console. So I have this excellent screen. I don't know how, well, how big it is, but it's a very good responsive screen. I just touch it once and it, it responds very well. I can go to phone, I can go to navigation. And it's a real neat 3D, 3D thing. I can zoom in, zoom out, and go back to audio. got the premium sound package my radio menu I love this so with this thing if you can see my foot pedals I can raise them or I can lower them all automatically with the push of a button I have traction control I have the back lights parking sensors lane departure warning and I actually have this cool thing I've not used it but when you're on cruise control you can click it and it will automatically brake for you down a hill. This feature is very lovely. I have three USBs, two ports, a plug, excellent cup holder space. I got these slots so I can put my phone perfectly, which is really neat, you know, so I, I, don't, I don't look at it while I'm on the road. Now the back seats are very comfortable. They're very luxurious. I have this for cup holders. I mean, that comes standard in a lot of vehicles, so I'm not bragging about that. One thing I have that I really like is I have AC seats, which means you can click it and it'll be cold. I have heated seats, and then I can just have the heated backrest. I don't have to have my butt heated, which is really nice because you can customize kind of exactly what you're feeling. All right, guys, that is my 2014 GMC Denali. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment what you want to see next. I'll be doing a review on my Harley-Davidson. Hope you liked it. Thanks. Bye.